in, it's still limited because life is unlimited because you can you can do that same party in your house uh, like outside of your house versus you can you can take that party or maybe somewhere else maybe you, you travel somewhere to throw that same party so that would be a completely even more more limitless let's say and so this way like you you can take it up a notch up a notch up a notch and you will soon realize energy is transferable right so when you're listening to me i'm actually transferring my own energy that i'm generating right now and you're absorbing those energies through this media here so energy is transferable but the problem with energy is that energy also ends so if you watch this video and after this video will be over it you will hold that energy for some time maybe for the next day and you will feel so motivated and so happy for about yeah this you know last night i i i, I saw that video that guy was right he was kind of right but that that motivation will go over for the next few days but then that's that's it i mean because i i gave you the energy for only two days so how can it last it, it will carry it won't carry over for more than two days hey guys what's up everybody welcome back to the channel and today i am going to uh, make a video about anger issues so uh, i actually struggle with anger issues on a daily basis uh, like not daily but regularly i i often struggle with uh, uh, how how do you say it like uh, untapped or or trapped rage like i have a lot of uh, rage trapped in my body and my mind so I, tr uh, I struggle with that on a regular basis and I just thought why not make a video about what I go through and try to voice out my, my thoughts. So I have a lot of uh, understanding in my mind regarding my own experiences. So I felt like why not just uh, talk about them on the video and just share it with whoever m might feel the need to listen to it. Who knows it might help someone or uh, someone who can relate with it uh, might uh, it might end up helping them or they can you know get a validation uh, for their own way of thinking which might imbibe some some sort of confidence in them uh, so i feel like uh, like I, I struggle to uh, vibe with people in everyday life uh, because i am I'm in some ways I'm quite different from most people uh, speaking from my own experiences I have come uh, so I'm 27 years old next year in April I will be 28 so speaking from these 27 years of my life so far I have I have come to this conclusion that I am quite different from most people and uh, um, because of that I I have a lot of struggle uh, i go through a lot of uh, s struggle because see we humans we are social creatures so it's it's a lot in this is my opinion obviously but uh, i just want to say that i feel like it's a lot easier for a person who is like everyone else so you meet people who are social uh, the reason because they are social because they are like everybody else so it's easier for them to uh, socialize i believe uh so so if you uh, f f compare to that like if you talk, think about introverts they're not social because it for them it's it's not so easy for them to socialize uh, so i feel like um uh, social people are social because it's uh, it's easier for them to socialize and life gets much easier if you're able to socialize and vibe with everyone else and if you like everyone else because then you can just just instantly vibe with anybody uh, and it won't matter um, so I think uh, for that uh, for that reason introverts uh, it, it's more difficult for introverts to socialize with other people now talking about uh, rage and anger uh, so I struggle with that uh, a lot and I have a lot of uh, built uh, like I have a lot of untreated or uh, untreated rage or anger you might say and because of that i i lose friendships i lose relationships all the time i lose relationships uh, all types of relationships it hurts my professional social like friends family it hurts all kinds of relationships so you know 
the easiest way to become social is especially if you're a man uh if you're a cool guy you know if you're just a chill person if you're a chill person you don't you know you you'll find people in life who you'll see like they don't get angry i i think nothing bothers them and even if uh, some things do bother them they just they have such a such a way about way of carrying themselves that they just they just don't lack that whatever let's say so what what is anger actually anger is an emotion uh, which is a response to you being hurt you were hurt by somebody at some point or on multiple instances and what hap- what is the difference between now this is important the difference between a cool person and an angry person is simply that cool person don't let that anger stick to them they just they just dust it off and it doesn't even like so that hurt that hurt hits them. everybody gets hurt in life no matter who you are social uh, introvert whatever but everybody gets hurt but the difference between cool people is that cool people uh, hurt, uh, get hurt but they don't t- also don't get hurt because they don't let that hurt hit them so it's like a think of you know, their being them being hurt as a ba- ball like a tennis ball bouncing off of them so so if so, let's say you're walking down on the street and you, like uh, imagine a tennis ball or a sponge ball and it hurts it hits them and it bounces off them but uh but for in the case of uh, like people like myself who uh, who uh, have a lot of uh, rage and anger issues for us being uh, being hurt is like getting hit by a stone so i think like people like me we should uh learn from people who are more cool headed and level headed uh who can people who have taken a chill pill and relaxed on the, all the time you know so um it's it's easier said than done obviously like if i would have done it then i wouldn't have claimed that i have anger issues but i just wanted to make this video uh just in case that if uh you know if somebody else might also go uh, have or, or might also be going through the same thing you know uh and i'm sure people like uh, people do struggle with anger but i just want to say that you can, so this is this is my go to method to dealing with anger it's that i just release that anger so uh i what i do is i whenever somebody like i get hurt like so the thing is thing about getting hurt is that is most of the time like 90% of the time when you're getting hurt by someone it's completely unconscious from the other person like they don't mean to hurt you but you get hurt because of your uh, past experiences so and this is this is the crazy thing about getting hurt so maybe you were actually intentionally hurt by someone in your past and now what happens in in your life you just get re-traumatized and you recall those memories and because you have been hurt and you haven't processed your trauma of the past uh, every day somebody says something you you take it in the wrong way because um because you think that they're trying to hurt you but the the fact is that maybe they're just saying something for no reason but because you have those memories of being hurt those memories like they they restart on an daily basis and it's, it's the worst thing you can do it's the worst thing that can happen to you as a human uh because life is like a burning candle Th- doesn't matter what kind of experiences you're going through the fact the biggest fact of life is that time never stops and time is so brutal that 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 time doesn't care whether we whether you you have been hurt or what your past experiences were they if you are meant to die at let's say 50 you're going to die like time is so brutal when when you're 50 years old and you might think oh man i thought i i i i missed out on so many experiences in my life and and i let some i i i let my anger issues and i let my my uh, victim mentality and i let my um, past experiences uh ruin my present and my fe- my present experiences uh but time is so brutal that time won't care i mean when you the day of your death comes you're just going to die if you're meant to die at the age of 52 then the f- your 52nd year is going to be the last year on the planet and you're just going to die 
and nobody will bother life will go on and uh, so yeah i mean this 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 human life that you are going through it's a um, it's a limited opportunity i mean uh, i i'm i'm sure i i completely understand if you, if uh, you might not be able to see that i think a lot of people who will watch this they they might think like what this guy is saying i've uh, what what limited opportunity and i i get it like when so many people talk about positivity and people talk about uh, how life is beautiful and people claim these successful people right these success mentors and gurus and motivational speakers they they always they say these things like life is so beautiful you have to enjoy life but but what they don't understand what they fail to understand is a person who's struggling with life that person may not be able to see the beauty of life because they are struggling with life how are they going to see the beauty so it's it's difficult to life is a mental trap in a lot of ways is in the sense that you can get uh, hindsighted and you can get limited vision if you're not a visionary if you're not able to see the full picture of what life and the limit uh, and unlimited the limitless limitless possibilities of life that you can uh, experience uh, you can get blinded and blindsided and you might not be able to see those limitless possibilities life has life is actually limitless you are limitless but the moment i see it i i totally get it somebody who's watching this video that person probably won't be able to uh, understand or feel the or see what i'm able to see right now um while i'm making this video because i'm talking about it and and that is uh firing up the neurons in the neural network in my brain which actually knows that this is what is what the truth is but even when i get uh challenged by my own trauma experiences and my own negative memories those memories overpower the truth the truth is that life is full of possibilities but because of your past experiences you might Uh, unconsciously hold yourself back so you might feel like what this guy is talking about what possibilities life is um, my life uh, has always been like uh, like like shit so what this guy is talking about possibilities um uh, how how what kind of possibilities is that is this guy talking about and i get it like but you have to uh, able you 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 have to like uh, how should i explain this like you have to um go across that mindset or it's so difficult to explain it because i understand uh, what the victim mentality is because i suffer myself uh, from the victim mentality but i am also getting conscious of the fact that i am getting limited by, by my own victim mentality and hence i am trying to get out of the trap and in the process i am also trying other people to get out of the same trap that i am in so it's difficult to explain what uh, and put it into proper words but you just have to do it you just have to get out of that victim mindset because that victim mindset is like you are inside so you can think of it as an example like if you are inside this so right now i am inside this room this is my room my bedroom and I am making this video here the curtains are closed even though I can hear people on the streets they're talking it's a late night and there's a uh, whatever like people are uh, talking smoking cigarettes outside I I know that because I was just out so I know that because I was just out but what if I stay in this room for the next let's say one month will I know that there is a world outside and the sun is rising and people are going out and this is this I live in a very busy city and so many people live here in this city and i'm just one of those people but if i stay in this room all the time i might forget it i mean you might think it's silly but i will obviously not forget it in a logical or rational way but the impact of that like for ex- on a on a contrast if i go out every day and i record my videos outside of my own or the house so in that sense the the limit of this room is removed 
right now i might feel like this is the entire the entire world the entire world exists here and it might feel boring so like you might think like you know so many people who are depressed and uh, struggle with depression on a daily basis depression anger issues all those things right all the nasty stuff of life just look at their lifestyle they are living i i can bet they live in their houses all the time they rarely go out and like uh, people in western countries and so uh, you you'll see like you'll see i'm sure you have seen these videos on youtube where people who have come to america from other countries they are making videos and showing the neighborhoods of american suburbs and they're showing how people nobody is outside everybody's in their house what are they doing probably they're working from home or they're spending time with their family inside of the house the windows are shut the curtains are sh shut no sunlight is getting inside the house or barely any sunlight is getting inside the house and their children are probably uh, playing uh, video games on their playstation and uh, all of that is good even if you have a family and uh, you're you're vibing with your family or your friends inside and chilling inside your house that is good but i'm just this and this is just an example for me to explain a point here is that you're still limited in that sense even let's say you have 50 friends and you're partying inside of the house that is still limited if you have those same 50 friends and you're throwing a party but it's outside of your house in your own garden or balcony and there's the sun radiating upon you and uh, you might uh, you're doing the same thing so you've hired the dj and then you guys are partying but the difference is you got the, all the doors are open and you guys are partying outside on the lawn versus inside the house the difference is so big because you're no more limited by these four walls and the ceiling and you're you're now like under the sky let's say it's a late night party and you're able to see the sky and the wind is really good and you're vibing maybe you're getting high or getting drunk and um, having boys and girls having fun with, together, every, everybody's vibing and uh, whatnot. So just imagine that situation. It's so different because that 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 is less limited. It's still limited because life is unlimited. Because you can you can do that same party in your house, uh, like outside of your house, versus you can you can take that party or uh, maybe somewhere else. Maybe you you travel somewhere to throw that same party so that would be a completely even more more limitless let's say and so this way like you you can take it up a notch up a notch up a notch and you will soon realize that life is actually limitless there's absolutely no limits to life but but because of our victim mentalities and because because of specifically because of the negative limited experiences that we have from our own past that is what projects a complete um, uh, picture uh, pro pro projects a picture which which appears to be like limited it shows it, you it, on the back of your head you might think like life is so limited but it's not you you know it deep down but who cares if you know it deep down the problem is that on a on a daily basis, when you maybe you're stuck in a in a limited life, right? It's very difficult to realize this on a daily basis. Maybe right now when you're watching this video, you might some something might trigger in your head all the neurons because because energy is transferable, right? So when you're listening to me, I'm actually transferring my own energy that I'm generating right now, and you're absorbing those energies through this media here so energy is transferable but the problem with energy is that energy also ends so if you watch this video and after this video will be over it you will hold that energy for some time maybe for the next day and you will feel so motivated and so happy for about yeah this you know last night i i i, I saw that video that guy was right he was kind of right but that that motivation will go over for the next few days but then that's that's it i mean because I, I gave you the energy for only two days, so how can it last? Uh, it, it will carry. It won't carry over for more than two days. So, so what you have to do is you have to create your own energy. Because see, right now, what am I doing? 
am I watching some video on YouTube? No, right? I'm creating this energy. This energy that I'm creating, it takes a lot more effort to absorb energy from someone else. But the beauty of this is that this is something that you have access to all the time. You can create your own energy versus relying on someone else. Um, and yeah, I mean, life will be struggling. Uh, life will be challenging and everybody's life is going to be different. Maybe you won't agree or won't be able to vibe 100% to what I'm saying because nobody can vibe with someone else to 100%. Even identical twins, you know, they have different fingerprints. Their fingerprints are not same of identical twins, right? Even so, like every person's, I always, I always uh, keep myself reminding myself that the fact that everyone has their own individual fingerprint so everyone is unique in their own way and the reason for this i feel is because you are supposed to find your own way through life and uh, i am not sure what that way is for you because i am i can only find my own way because i am this person um so yeah i mean i just wanted to share those uh, thoughts that I had uh, in the in, in in the hope that it might help someone, and well, that's it. And uh, as far as anger issues is considered, I will say that like release. So whenever you get angry about your past experiences, just you realize you have to realize that that's a mental formation, a mental energy that is being created inside your head inside your head. And you have to head or body. I don't know. People say like uh, emotions are in your body. So whatever. That That's not important though. What's important is you have to remember that's energy that's being created. And you have to release that. Because that's like, as a, that's a kind of, a, even though anger is not bad. I want to say this. Anger is not bad. Anger will actually take you, like if you are a person who gets angry, realize the potential that you have. That people who get angry, is that's just energy, misdirected energy. That's energy being uh, generated, but you it's your responsibility to use that energy to your own benefit. I mean, you're lucky in some sense if you get angry because that's like energy generated in your body uh, and your mind. And th maybe that's a very dirty way of the energy being generated, but hey, we can't do anything about it, right? So let's focus on what we can do and let's, let's be positive about it instead of being a victim of the victim mentality, right? So, whatever energy you're getting in your system, now, you have to release it because I feel that anger is such a, uh, it's, it's a, it's a high volume energy in a short form. So, I feel like whenever I observe myself when I'm angry, it's like something is inside my head that just wants to release itself. So, I just breathe it out or the best thing, by the way, to release anger is to work out. Cardio. Cardio exercise is the best way to release anger. Just just, just walk around, do a jog outside. All your angers will, dis will dissipate. You, you can literally feel it being dissipated all off your skin. So yeah, maybe that's why people say like anger is there or emotions are in your body and not your mind. I don't know. I'm not an expert in any way, but I just, I can speak from my own experiences. So yeah, you can um, like release the anger and you have to release it. Now, how you're going to release it, don't rely on this person talking about it. You have to, you have to find your own way of releasing it. But, but I feel like you have to release that anger or you have to direct it positively. Uh, in the long term, you're going to obviously direct it in a positive way. But for the moment, you have to release it because it's too much energy in a short time. Uh, you cannot do anything about it because the, the way life works is li life build, builds upon itself gradually. So, Maybe maybe uh, you're 20 years old. Your life when you're 25 is going to be very different because you're you have spent five more years. So life is a stack a stack up. It builds on layer of or for layers. So like different layers, layer up, layer after layer, layer after layer. That's how life um, life is built. You don't life is not given. Life this biological life is there, but you have to create your own life. So that creation uh, of life takes time it's gonna you have to build it day after day uh and that mindset is very important because you cannot be like uh, uh, expect yourself 
to live an awesome life uh, in a year from the day you started building it. Uh, you have to wait, the, and but you have to. That's that's the, that's how the game is. You have to be patient, you, and you don't have a choice. Sorry to say, you have to be patient, and that's it. And that's just, and that's just it. And I hope that this video helps someone. And catch you in the next one. Take care.